What's up guys, Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews. So today I've got my hands on the latest Retro Station PC Pro. This is probably one of the most powerful emulation consoles we have seen on the channel so far. It comes packaged with two wireless controllers and over 67,000 games. This console has the power to emulate everything from old school Atari classics to arcade all the way to high end PlayStation 3 emulation. Now first of all inside the box you will find a power cable, a power supply and I'll give you a close up of the voltage information. This comes with a mini wireless keyboard which is powered by two AAA batteries and uses a USB dongle to function. Two controllers are also included in this package. They are both 2.4 GHz wireless and work via USB dongle. And last but not least, the Retro Station PC Pro itself. And I'm really liking that minimalistic design with no branding at all. You have a nice matte black finish on top and the top is actually made from plastic. The rest of the mini PC is made from metal. So the sides and the bottom are made from metal. So quite a nice build quality. It almost reminds me of the recent B-Link mini PCs. And on the front we have a physical power button with some LED indicators. We've got a Type-C port, two USB ports, microphone and headphone jack. On the side we have metal mesh grill. On the back we've got a display port with two HDMI outputs. You've got four USB 3 ports, a gigabit LAN and a power socket. And if we keep going there's nothing on this side and that brings us back to the front. And this is what the bottom of the mini PC looks like. Now let's just quickly run through the specs. Now this box is powered by the Intel Core i5 1135G7, which is a quad core clocked at 2.4 gigahertz and up to 4.2 gigahertz turbo. Now for graphics, we have integrated Intel Iris Xe. We've got 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, upgradable to 32 gigs. We've got 256 gig M.2 SSD, which is upgradable to two terabytes. And you also get a massive two terabyte SATA hard drive pre-installed in this unit. And that's gonna be preloaded with an encyclopedia of games, which we're gonna check out a little bit later. Now this has five gigahertz Wi-Fi AC, gigabit LAN, and you've got Bluetooth 4.2. And you've actually got quad display output. So that's two HDMIs, mini display port, and you can display out with Type-C port as well. Now you're also getting Windows 10 Pro pre-installed, activated and ready to use. There is a built-in cooling fan and this PC does potentially support 4K at 60Hz. Now let's just take a quick look at the internals. There are four screws to remove on the back, then the cover just lifts off. But be careful as there is a hard drive cable that you do not want to damage. So first of all you can see we have a 2TB SATA hard drive. It's a Seagate Barracuda which is definitely nice to have and this holds all the games. And inside you can see a 256 gig M.2 SSD which is your Windows installation and this can be swapped out with a 2TB drive but then you would have to reinstall Windows and also the Retro Station software. So unless you know what you're doing I would not bother replacing the SSD with it without at least backing up all your files first. And just above it you can see we have two RAM slots. One is occupied by 16 gigs of RAM and you have another slot completely free so maximum supported 32 gigs. So nice to have easy upgrade options with this mini PC. Okay, so when you first power on, you'll be presented with Windows 10. So here is the Windows 10 desktop. I'll quickly go to properties and just show you some of the system information. 1135 G7, you can see the clock speed, 16 gigs of RAM, 64 bit operating system, and that's Windows 10 professional. So you should actually be able to do the free update to Windows 11. Here is the system storage information. So the two terabyte drive is occupied by your retro station games and you have over 200 gigs free on the C drive to install your own software and other Steam games or PC games, etc. And to start playing games, you've got an icon over here and it's called Retro Station. Just double click it and the software will load up. All right, so let's quickly go through the Retro Station OS. So you've got your navigation on the side with all your systems. You've got preview of the actual console. And over here, you will see the number of games per system. So it's in alphabetical order, but instead of going down, I'm gonna go backwards because the more exciting consoles start from P. So we've got Thompson, PlayStation 3, guys. Awesome. We've got PlayStation Portable, PlayStation 2, We've got PlayStation Original or PlayStation 1. 
Neo Geo Pocket Color, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo CD, Neo Geo System, Sinclair ZX Spectrum, Sinclair ZX81. And it's really nice how they show you the game controller or the control method of each system at the bottom. We've got the Sharp X68000, Naomi Arcade, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, Sega 32X, Sega CD, Sega Game Gear. <laughs> That's cool. Sega Mega Drive. That's a 7-up game. Sega Master System. Sega SG-1000. Atomis Wave. Retro Station, 33 items. I think that's going to be system items. Scum VM. you got ports. Open Beats of Rage. So there's a few unique custom games in here side-scrolling Mortal Kombat game you've seen this one before <laughs> it looks alright doesn't it all right Nintendo switch okay surprised to see this one here Wii U I used to love this console Wii original absolute classic Nintendo DS Game Boy Advance, Nintendo GameCube, definitely going to be playing GameCube, Game Boy Color, N64, now I've not held that N64 controller in such a long time, I bet that would feel a bit weird to play in this day and age, I might grab one for the channel, you've got Virtual Boy, Super Nintendo, classic, love this. Game Boy, Famicom Disk System, Nintendo Entertainment System, Game & Watch, Super Graphics, PC Engine CD-ROM, PC Engine, NEC PC 9800, NEC PC 8801, MSX 2 Plus, MSX 2, MSX, MS DOS, Viotrex, Intellivision, Odyssey 2, Thompson, CDTV, Amiga 1200, Commodore 64, Bruce Lee, yeah, ColecoVision, Capcom Play System 3, Capcom Play System 2, and CPS 1. WonderSwan Color, WonderSwan, Jaguar, Atari Lynx, Atari 7800, Atari ST, Atari 5200, Atari 800, Atari 2600, Daphne, MAME arcade games, Light Gun Games, oh cool, nice. Final Burn Neo. More arcade games. Apple II. Amstrad GX4000. Amstrad. Favorites, so you can add games to your favorites and we're back to all games. Alright, so we've gone over all the systems, but now it's time to actually test the games out. 
Um, let's start with the hardest to emulate. So I believe that's going to be PlayStation 3. All right, let's just play God of War straight away. So I just played a whole bunch of PS3 games and as you guys just saw, they all played pretty well. Now let's try something else that's quite difficult to emulate, Nintendo Switch. So I've also tried a few Nintendo Switch games. Uh, a good selection included and they played okay. We're going to go back towards the PlayStation section and we're going to play some PS2 games. So we're going to move on to another system. Let's go to Dreamcast.
woman. Yo, nice hammers on that one. Nothing personal. You might never fly from the ocean. So there you have it guys, that was the RetroStation PC Pro, the most powerful RetroStation console we have seen on the channel to date. No doubt super fun testing this one out, very nice to see what this product can actually do. It runs more or less everything I threw at it and I absolutely love the RetroStation UI, menus and navigation. I like that this is simply plug and play with nothing to configure. You can add more retro games to this if you want and there is plenty of storage space free on the C drive for you to install more software and PC games. That being said, do check out the links in the description box below for more information on this product. No doubt I am a big retro gaming fan and the Retro Station PC Pro is the most amazing retro console they have launched to date. Now do like, sub and follow to the channel if you have not already. Super Thanks is also now available on this channel. Meanwhile, question to the people, name a game that you used to love playing back in the day and from what console? And I'll go first, I used to love playing GoldenEye on the N64. That game used to be amazing, especially the four player split screen mode when you've got your friends around. So multiplayer on GoldenEye was super fun. So do share your favorite game. It's always nice to hear your thoughts. I hope you found this one useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.